this is Andy Tube, and I'm back with a Singer Model 338. I was degreasing all the uh, parts, and I got all the grease off of this uh, oil pan, and uh, I did. I found a lot of corrosion. I don't know what kind of uh, oil. There was some on the even the one of the aluminum bolts had uh, corroded, which is real unusual. So. I, I'm going to have to uh, refinish this bottom plate to get all of these uh, corroded spots and underneath a lot of it was uh, rust, little rust spots uh, in the steel. So I've just been sanding away on this and uh, once I get all the spots smoothed out and the corrosion off there I'll be uh, putting a new coat of black paint on here. And I'll just do some little uh, highlights of that painting process, you know, but it's basically just sand it, uh, make sure all the sanding material and debris is off of there. I'll probably wipe it down with denatured alcohol and then uh, spray it with a high quality gloss black. Uh, spray paint. So that's going to be the next step is to uh, to to clean that with some denatured alcohol. I like to use the denatured alcohol because it leaves a little bit less residue. But if you don't have that, you know, just clean it how you would normally clean any surface that you're going to spray paint. If you have regular alcohol, you can certainly use that. I know this is on the bottom <laughs> of the machine, and if the machine is left in the plastic carry case, it will seldom be seen. If it's mounted in a um, cabinet, it'll seldom be seen. But when I restore a machine, I, I'm doing it for sale, and uh, you know I just like to to do it completely. That's why that's why I, I don't make a lot of money on these <laughs> because it's it's uh, a hobby more than a business doing the restorations. You know, I make a little money servicing machines for people. It's just kind of a word of mouth. I have a, a lady who is in town here from in Arizona where I live and she's from Oregon and her sister-in-law bought one of my machines and she brought a machine over and asked me if I'd just uh, clean it up and tune it. It's a beautiful Singer 513 and uh, gosh it's really cosmetically just gorgeous and uh, the lady says she just she hasn't used it in 25 years and she started sewing again and she wants she bought a new electronic machine and she doesn't like it so when she saw her sister-in-law's um, vintage machine and how nice it was that's why she brought it to me so I'll be doing that in the future so I'll make a little money on that okay my next step is going to be to paint that up get a new a new coat on it okay I, I think most people know that sound I'm <laughs> shaking a spray paint can <laughs> I use uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Ultra Cover paint and primer in one. This is uh, gloss black. It does go. Uh, you can paint uh, uh, plastic with it too. So Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2x two times coverage Ultra Cover paint and primer. And I usually do two coats in Arizona. They, they dry pretty quick, so it's not a big deal. And you give it a light coat. And I use some painter's tape over the 
caution warning about unplugging the electric. I don't want to cover that up. Okay, there's the first coat. See how, how easy that was? And uh, they, uh, this paint here will dry in about 15 minutes to touch. And uh, I, I don't know, for 100% dry, uh, probably in uh, 12 to 24 hours, you know. But in 20 minutes you can touch it, in an hour you can handle it. So I'll wait about 30 minutes here and I'll put another uh, coat on and then I'll let that sit and then I'll move it to a safe space and just let it dry until tomorrow. Okay, get my uh, second coat on here. It's been about 25 minutes. Uh, one thing I like about this uh, Rust-Oleum and, and maybe most paints, I've just used Rust-Oleum for about 30 years, um, is that if you can put the second coat on within one hour of the first. Uh, after that, you need to wait about 24 to 48 hours to get a, a really good second coat. So I'm just going to put the second coat on here. It's not going to take much. It really looks great. going to do it. Oh, wait a minute. I see one little spot here in the corner. Okay. Now, that will be movable in about an hour. And then I'm going to set it up over on my patio under cover in a safe spot. Let it dry until tomorrow. It usually does not take 24 hours, even with two coats, just because the, the climate here in Arizona, it's desert, you know, so it's just really real dry, and paint like this tends to dry very fast. So when it is dry, I'll come back and we'll take a closer look at it. And then I want to show you uh, the parts that I've cleaned up, too. So I'll see you back when it's dry. So look how nice this uh, oil pan cover turned out. I'm, I'm real happy with it. Uh, when I pulled off the painter's tape, it took part of the letter T here um, off. And I don't know if I'll touch that up or not. I don't think my hand's steady enough to do that. And you can see that the original paint around that is a little more like gun gunmetal black than gloss black. But for me, it looks so much better than uh, all of the chips and the corrosion and and uh, little rust spots and stuff on it. So I'm I'm real happy with the way it came out, and I'm happy with the. Uh, way my small parts cleaning turned out. I'll show you a little slideshow of that here to end the video. And I'll put links at the end of the video to show you, um, you know, links to how I clean the small parts um, using crud cutter and, and things like that. So in case you haven't seen those, you might have just come here looking at the 338 model. But that will give you some clues on how I go about it. And then I'm going to be tackling the body, the uh, main body, to get all of that varnished oil and, and uh, junk off of those gears and so forth. And I'm going to try a little new method, to a uh, quicker method, to, to do the whole cleaning of the main body with crud cutter. And I'll show you that before I 
do it. I think it's going to be a little quicker for me. So uh, enjoy the slideshow here of the clean parts and look for the links at the end to the other videos. Thanks for watching uh, AndyTube here and I hope you'll come back and see some more of my videos in the future. Take care.